you're at the finish line. You've added in your properties, your rooms, your property information, your key compliance documents, and created rent schedules and added your tenants in. So you've done a huge amount so far in a very quick amount of time. The final thing to do now is once you've added in those tenants, assuming that those tenants are um, current sitting tenants, you just need to add in their specific AST or their tenancy agreement and their right to rent record. So to do that, you just need to find the property they're in. In this case, we will be taking 37 Bath Parade. We then need to go to the room, uh, which is Fox One. So we'll click onto Fox One and that will open up that rooms page. So what we need to do is scroll down to this section here, tenancy agreement and right to rent. And very simply, you show the panel content, you add the tenancy agreement. We're gonna give some random dates here, but because this has already been signed, we're gonna select already signed. Um, all this information uh, should be true based on what we uploaded earlier in the rent schedule. Um, we're gonna add a new tenancy agreement. Bear in mind, this is one we will be uploading that they've um, previously signed. So. We'll select our file that we have a copy of here. We'll pop it in, open it up, and it pops it in there. Um, we can preview it if we want, but you know that it's already been signed. We'll then put in the guarantor details. Um, we're gonna say that the guarantor signed this agreement and that it's already been signed. We're then gonna click save. And that is that done. So that's the tenancy agreement that's been uploaded. The next step we'll need to go through now would just be to upload the right to rent uh, report, which is exactly the same process. You just scroll down, right to rent there, um, show the panel content and add a new check. So um, we'll click yes, date checked, upload the document and you're good to go. So those are the two final steps. I really hope you've enjoyed this series. Um, it's getting started with Coho in six easy steps. Really, they are quite easy. So um, yeah, I hope you've taken benefit from them. As always, do reach out if you have any questions. Take care.